So, uh, here we are. The boys just got caught slipping like a bunch of smooth-brained apes. And the goat, Madman Abraham, just got domed for it, taking the fattest L for the team since Otis took the knee. And Negan's over here laughing at these fools. They really thought they were gonna get away with that villainous pull-up on the satellite station. But you know what? Negan's a chill dude. He ain't gonna cap anybody else. He just wants to hire these tryhards for his post-apocalyptic esports team. And I guess Daryl really wanted to let this man know he ain't about that life. So he fucking Falcon punches him in the fucking face. And then Negan just kills Invincible in retaliation. I mean, let the thought detonate in your mind for a second. Daryl punched Negan, but killed Glenn, basically. What an incredible fucking feat. Like seriously, what the hell was Daryl thinking? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna punch this guy while he has us surrounded by a metric fuck ton of well-armed conscripts. Nothing bad's gonna happen. I'll show him who the real Alpha Sigma Ligma Balls Giga Hick is. And worst of all, look at Negan's face. The man took less than one hit points worth of damage in exchange for getting Glenn killed. Daryl's Detroit Smash didn't even leave a bruise on this man's face. And then after that, Negan packs this man up like some rabid dog and takes him home just to domesticate him. Like, I seriously cannot believe that Daryl was capable of being this stupid this late into the apocalypse. I'm willing to bet that all of you, and Glenn, seriously didn't see this coming when that episode first aired. Like seriously, how could Daryl not have the foresight to understand that punching Negan at that specific point in time was a fantastically stupid idea? And then Maggie has the audacity to forgive this man for getting her husband killed? Bruh, if my fiance or the love of my life got killed because some wild ass redneck punched our new omnipotent dictatorial overlord, I'd be livid for at least a few years. Motherfucker couldn't just lock the fuck in for just a few minutes? Did he not just see what happened to the absolute unit that was Abraham Ford? I mean, I know I made fun of Shane for wanting to go to Fort Benning, and I know I criticized Rick for selling the store during his preemptive strike on the Saviors, but this has got to be the single biggest misplay in the entire franchise. Like, there is simply no excuse for this. There was no benefit that could ever rationally be conceived of to justify punching the guy who said not to fuck around right after he turned a literal beast's head into soup. He literally had this man's head looking like a bowl of Tostito salsa. Yo, I'm sorry, but I just had to rant about this shit. Daryl literally chugged the stupid juice and made the zero IQ play of the fucking century. Fuck Benny, Rick's your mouse.